This is the future. Prime parts are by far the most consistent way to earn a stream of platinum. Players don't even have to invest in anything when selling them, just cracking open some accumulated relics will do. Players also don't even need to aim for rare or expensive prime parts though they can also sell those for higher prices. The thing is, a lot of players will readily pay around 5 to 10 platinum for 5 junk or low value prime parts. That's because these prime parts can be liquidated into ducats, another currency players can use for purchasing Marokitir's items. Junk prime parts usually sell the highest when the void trader is right around the corner, so it pays better to wait for him. In most cases, you can sell prime parts now for 2 to 5 platinum with those being considered as prime junk for ducats sold for 1 platinum. In normal cases, you can get about 20 to 30 platinum per day and 140 to 210 platinum if you play 7 straight days farming just relics and then cracking them open in void fish emission, and of course, praying for RNG to somehow drop a decent prime part to sell. Just a quick tip, don't ever prime parts farming solo just like what I'm doing in the screen. This is just a demonstration and it's always better to farm what for 3 more guys so you will get more chances of getting better prime parts. Plus, the company will take you for hours in darming those prime parts. But wait, don't just go yet, as I got a couple of th 8 ngs to discuss about prime parts farming, and why you should not sell prime parts now or, much better, don't ever sell your prime parts blindly. The thing about prime parts is that it's the easiest way to get free platinum through farming relics and cracking them open at void fisher missions. However, this method is not the one that could make you tons of money in one transaction. Through is a much better way, but we will discuss that in another video since it's a more advanced guide and you would need us of gameplay for that. You see, prime parts farming is a more universal, and easy way of getting platinum but, I would suggest that you shouldn't sell those prime parts blindly as we have thus thing called vaulting in Warframe wherein the relic will not be farmable for a couple of months until they arrive in the prime resurgence. Ok, before we dive deeper, I would just like to tell you that all the resources and websites I have used in this video can be seen in the video description below. I would like to discuss this casually, and in case you are looking for the links, then feel free to check them out at the video description below. So, right now, Glaive Prime Blueprint is the highest value prime parts in the market, and you can check this out using the website I have been using for years to see the prices of prime parts. This saved me up a lot of time scanning Warframe.market. The only problem is that Glaive Prime Blueprint is not farmable right now because it's vaulted, and luckily, I was able to save up 3 of the relics and this is when I became 90 platinum richer than you guys. You see, if you want to really make good money from Prime Parts, then I would suggest that you take full advantage of the vaulting mechanic in the game. I am not saying that you shouldn't sell all your Prime Parts, but what I'm trying to suggest is to save up a couple of relics for the near future. Just by keeping an eye with the prime parts market, you can exploit the vaulting mechanic and somehow gain more platinum later than just one platinum right now. Now, I have been doing this for years now, and this is where most of my platinum came. What I did is farm for prime parts daily and sell them in warframe.market. Why not on the trade chat squad leader? Well, it's better to put it in an auction house as no players will need buying and selling prime parts in the trade chat unless it's a new prime access. Most of the time, you will see Riven mods being traded in the trade chat so, it would be wise to go sign up and use Warframe.market. Not to worry though as I have been using this third party app for years with no issue so, don't worry about getting banned as this is a safe application. The same foes with the website I'm using for knowing the prices for each prime parts. It somehow takes the day to in Warframe.market so it's sure that you have the highest priced prime parts seen easily in the website without scanning Warframe.market. There are also other websites out there that can provide some sort of price checker not just for prime parts, but also for Ravens. I forgot the name and I'm too lazy to look so if you know, please feel free to comment it down below. So anyway, after saving a few new relics, like 50 or even 100 in the past, I stop grinding. This means I won't do the cracking of prime relics and instead, wait for the right time to sell those relics if they are priced high in the market. Most of the time, players will buy relics instead of prime parts, especially those vaulted ones. There are still new to mid-level players who just spend cash and buy platinum to get what they want in the game and, as a free player, 
we need to take advantage of that. Just by saving a few relics, and waiting for it to be vaulted, you can increase your income from prime parts farming in the long run but, that's also the disadvantage as it will take a few months before the price gets higher. Normally, you can do this method when you already delve in Warframe for hundreds or even thousands of hours, and most of the players that take advantage from these are those veterans who just look at their void relics and see if they have some vaulted relics to sell. You see, these is the reality of prime parts farming. It may be the easiest but if you farm and sell those relics that are available in the game right now, then no one would buy it unless you are selling the prime parts. The problem us, they would just be sold for a minimum of 1 platinum each as prime parts that are farmable at the moment are considered prime junks and only useful for ducats. We as veterans may suggest that new players should do prime farming as it's accessible for all but, I would just like to stop that misconception that it's the only platinum farming method available that works. It does work, and it's super easy, but you get rewarded accordingly for the easy work you have done. Best advice is you save up a couple of new relics to sell once they get vaulted and their prices went up. Gaining a 100 platinum per week in the last was a joy as a new player but, once you get into high levels, you will see that you want to spend more and your income is too low or too slow. This is the hard fact that you need to understand and if you are new to the game, then don't worry as prime parts farming will be your go to method, but after that, it's all about driven mods and other stuff which we will discuss in another video. But before you go, I would also like to tell you that aside from prime vaulting, you should also look forward to new prime access as this is another way to gain tons of platinum at day 1. Even though Steel Essence farm to convert and boot prime packs was nerf, still, it's the beat way to get new prime access relics fast and, you can either keep it or sell it for a hefty amount of platinum. Most of the time, relic packs will give you the new prime access relics, and you can go in a radiant all team to crack relics and get the new prime access parts that you want to sell. Whenever there's a new prime access, it's always good to farm relics and sell them for platinum or, just go with the new prime parts as they sell better especially when they are sold in set. If you want to check out how I farm new prime access relics, then feel free to check out the video I have linked at the video description below. Thank you so much for watching. Squad Leader signing off.